This message is for the person who is seeking purpose in life, meaning you're questioning yourself as what is my purpose? What am I supposed to be doing? What is life all about, right? Truth be told, I still have moments where I wake up or I lay my head down and I question myself to say, what the hell am I doing with my life? And then I'm reminded of the journey that it took for me to get to this space, to feel confident about sharing on self-love and self-worth. And so stop trying to figure everything out. Sometimes you're in a space of only needing to focus on self, self-healing, self-help, self-development, self-determination, things that you need to be focused on that make you feel good, that brings out the best in you, all right? And so while you're trying to figure out purpose in life, your purpose right now may simply be to focus on self. And the more that you begin to better yourself, the more you'll begin to be revealed what's meant to be. here with Jolie E. Day. Welcome! If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So around here, we are all about breathing and getting a whole lot more self-ish, meaning unlocking, unleashing, revealing, stepping into, stepping up to our best self and doing whatever the hell is necessary to make that happen. So in this video, I'm going to give you the five things, looking back now, what led me into the space I'm in now. And maybe this will open your eyes to see what's molding you and shaping you and preparing you, happening for you, for what's next, what's meant to be in your space. Okay, so let's get into this video. Truth be told, I still have moments where I wake up or I lay my head down and I question myself to say, what the hell am I doing with my life? And then I'm reminded of the journey that it took for me to get to this space, to feel confident about sharing on self-love and self-worth. So I've always had a passion to motivate and inspire those around me. I just loved people and I actually recovered from being a people pleaser, but that's another story. And so I wanted to be a motivational speaker. And I remember saying to myself, I want to be a motivational speaker. And I didn't know what to motivate people on because I'm just a naturally happy-go-lucky person. So it wasn't like I had been through anything to make me feel like, what am I going to say? Just be happy? So this brings us into the first thing, brace yourself. This truly shook up my life and shifted me into a completely different space that I never saw coming. So the first thing that truly led me and pretty much opened the doors into the space that I am in right now is losing my one and only sister by suicide. And this was in 2011 and she was someone who loved life, let me tell you, traveled, traveled, traveled. Sometimes I missed so many opportunities to travel the world with her because I was stuck somewhere else in my own mind. And now I look back and wish I could just get those moments back, you know? So when I lost my sister, I, I entered a world that I did not know. There was a world left behind where all I knew was my older sister to be with me. We were supposed to have kids together. We were supposed to have families and, and do barbecues and fun stuff together, create a legacy together, right? When I lost her, that world was left behind. And I had to enter a new space. I had to redefine what life meant to me. I had to recreate a new identity for myself, basically. I would never be the person that had her in my life ever again. Okay, that's what happened. When I stepped into the new world of loss and grief of someone dear, super close to me that I never could have thought. When I stepped into this new world, I was afraid, let me tell you. My happiness was shattered and I did not know who I was. I lost a sense of who I was and so that first thing that shook up my world, got me to this space, crazy enough, was a deep sense of loss of someone close to me and a deep sense of loss of who I was. And so everything that I was was broken down and had to be rebuilt back up. 
And so this taught me the, the idea and brought me into what it meant to disconnect, to reconnect, or to actually connect with the person that I am meant to be, that I'm continuously seeking to evolve and grow into being. So this leads us into number two. So number two, first off, let me say, after losing Latrice, my sister, I freaking developed this fear of losing everyone around me. I mean, I, I felt like I couldn't lose anyone any closer besides my mom, um, any closer to my heart. And so in losing her, something that I totally wasn't prepared for, uh, I don't think you can ever prepare for death, but it, it wasn't something that I saw coming. Okay. And in losing her, I feared losing the people closest around me. And in doing that, I believe I developed some relationships that I didn't want to let go of, that I was afraid to let go of, that had its seasons. And so number two is about letting people go. Letting people go. Yeah, the shit hurts at times, let me tell you, especially when you have created um, deeper relationships with individuals that you believe have been there in like some of your darkest moments or you've told secrets to, or you've just had amazing good times together. People come in and out of your life, and I know you've heard this before, for seasons and reasons. And so sometimes there is moments where you feel in your gut, you feel in your heart that you're just not in this space, the same connection with the same people, and it's time to let them go. And it doesn't mean that there's any hard feelings when you have peace within yourself. It means that you value your own peace within yourself a little bit more than holding on to something that brings dr extra drama or that just brings an uneasy feeling over you because the connection has faded or fizzled away, okay? Or maybe someone has betrayed you or maybe someone has spoken to you um, disrespectfully to you one too many times and you didn't really see the signs but now you're starting to begin to feel that this ain't right and I shouldn't have to feel this way around you okay it's time to let some people go and shift up uh, shake up your circle shake up your tribe shake up the environment shake shake up like the conversations you have. Be okay with meeting new people. Be okay with being alone. Be okay with being alone. This is not on the list, but let me tell you, I had a whole lot of alone time in the process to get me into this space. And I had to be okay with being alone and not making it to be being lonely. Okay, so number two is letting some folks go. And with that, stop looking to other people to make you happy. If you're not happy within yourself, if you're not confident within yourself, if you don't feel beautiful within yourself, there's no amount of compliment. There's no amount of anything that can make you feel good about yourself, lift you up or anything if you can't find that within yourself. And you will always seek to others to give you that. So when people disappoint you, then it's it's a harder letdown than understanding that you can ignite your love, your happiness, your joy, all within yourself. And the people that come and, and support that within you are just a huge, amazing bundle of bonuses. All right? So moving into number three is... Y'all know I like to pause and breathe. Let's have a pause and breathe moment. Okay, because you're probably going to need this for this particular one. Number three, you've got to be okay with getting uncomfortable. Getting uncomfortable. Okay? And I share this to say because after losing my sister, all of this goes together into the, the space that I am in right now. There were some things that I had to break. Okay? There were some places that I had to re-enter that I was used to entering with her. There were some people to have conversations with that I was used to her being by my side. There were places to go that it was no longer she was a part of that journey with me. And so for me personally, getting uncomfortable first started with going back to the gym that she signed up for, that I signed up for after because I love the pool. And I had to enter that space knowing that she was not going to be by my side. And so I had multiple moments of showing up to this gym of feeling like, what the hell am I doing? Like, this is torture. This was torture. It was so uncomfortable. It was torture in my mind, subconsciously, 
But realizing, looking back now, I was breaking that fear. I was breaking something within myself. I was building up strength within myself to keep pushing forward because life goes on. All right. So you've got to be willing to get uncomfortable. You've got to be willing to speak up for yourself. You've got to be willing to break up with those people that no longer serve you purpose or value in your life. You've got to be willing to try new things, to explore, to see what do you love? What makes you feel good? What brings out the best in you? And the only way to do that is to get uncomfortable. Sometimes you find yourself being stuck in a place because you have entered a comfort zone and you're afraid to step out of it. And so therefore, you will never know what your purpose, what your passions, what drives you because you're stuck in this bubble of your little habits and your little routines that no longer serves value and it only keeps you stuck in this space. So open up, bust the ceiling, break the glass and get uncomfortable. OK, it serves so much purpose and value in your way of being. All right, entering whatever level, whatever space, whatever breakthrough is meant to be. All right, which moves us into number four. Ask for some damn help. Okay, ask for help. Ask for help. It's okay. Ask for help. Sometimes you need help. Sometimes you need someone to talk to. Sometimes you need someone to dump to. Sometimes you need professional assistance, and that's okay. All right. I have been blessed to have the most amazing mentors in my life. OK, the most amazing people that have entered in my space in the most like divine time. Right. And so when it's time to reach out, don't be afraid thinking that people don't want to deal with you or hear your shit. OK, it doesn't hurt to ask. Stop replaying the stories in your head that you're not good enough or you're not worthy enough to ask for help and receive help. Okay, it is fine. So go out and seek mentorship. Okay, seek professional help. Okay, ask the people around you that you believe in. And if they tell you no, in the most deepest, darkest space in your life, let me tell you something about this real quick. Don't think that people can read your mind in asking for help or wanting people to show up for you at times that sometimes they don't even realize it because they got their own things going. They got their own shit going. And so by you not asking and expecting people to show up for you, sometimes you do yourself a disservice and the people that would love to support you a disservice by not asking for help and expecting people to read your mind, probably thinking that you're the most strongest person in the world and you don't need help because they got their own thing going. So be okay with asking for help and seeking mentorship or seeking professional counseling or professional um, help period boom there all right and last but not least yeah I'm looking at my paper I don't want to get a uh, sidetrack I am a talker as you can see but I hope that you are finding value in where we are right now as we're moving into the last um, number five okay so if you are finding value so far right now make sure that if you didn't subscribe yet subscribe now all right click that button so number five is Oh, I cut out a lot of shit. I cut out a lot of things uh, and not even realized I cut out a lot of things. And I'm not going to go deep into this because I'm going to do a video. And when I do this video, it'll be uploaded um, on raising your vibrational energy. All right. Raising your vibrational energy to attract everything that you want and you desire and you deserve in your life. All right. But number five is I cut out a lot of shit like... um. TV, nonsense, useless shit that used to fill my mind and had me thinking crazy drama and mess. I cut out the news that made me feel depressed. I cut off the radio because some of those songs ain't shit. They don't fuel me like I need to be fueled. Now, don't get it twisted. I love music, but there's a certain type of music that fuels my soul. And, it, and for everyone, it's different. So find what fuels your soul instead of what makes you feel like you're just trending. Okay, stop trending around here or have fun with trending, but really know who you are. Okay, I cut out a lot of hanging out. I cut out a lot of places 
people, places, things, all that stuff. So I cut out a lot of things that opened up so much space and time for things that really made me feel good, like really made me feel good. And sometimes you're not aware of the things that you're doing that's causing you to play repeat and you're not opening up space for new passions or new ideas and creativity and what's next in your life because you're redoing the same patterns and stuff and you're going to the same places and you're hanging around the same people and you're still like, this ain't even fun like it used to be. Be okay with letting that go and opening, cutting out that, those things and and having moments to kind of evaluate or reevaluate what's serving you and what's not and what's not serving you, cut that shit out. And we have come to the end. This has been good. This has been good. Actually, this has felt good for me um, to just go through this again. All right. To just kind of think about, wow. Sometimes you don't give yourself credit for what you've gone through to get to the space you're in. Give yourself credit. Give yourself permission to clap it up. Yes. All right. So that is the five things. Just a quick recap. One, I, you know, I crisis, crisis hit. I had to disconnect from a space of loss and grief, grief, losing my sister um, to connect into the space that I am in now. And, you know, I'm in a better place than I was even before. And, you know, that's another story. Number two is let people go. Let people go. Not everyone deserves your attention, your energy, your space. Let them go if they are no longer serving you value or purpose in your life. Number three, get uncomfortable. Just do some shit. Try some stuff. Explore some things. Uh, break up with fear. Use fear to fuel you. As excitement, I'm excited to do this instead of I'm scared to do this. I have shifted. I'm I'm afraid. Um, I'm scared to. I'm excited. All right. Number four, seek mentorship. Ask for help. Ask for professional help. Get counseling if you need that extra boost. Boost. It is nothing wrong with it. Stop holding yourself back, afraid of feeling like you're the only one that needs that little extra help. We all go through some shit. Let me tell you. Okay. And asking for help is 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 bold asking for help is courageous of you okay so ask for help and also ask people around you to support you and give you love and stop thinking that people are mind readers and know what you need in your life and um number five Cut out some shit. Cut out some things that no longer serve you those places that you used to go to maybe some drinking habits you used to have I don't know, clothes that you used to wear that you no longer feel confident in, turn off the TV for a little time and focus on a dream goal in life. You know, just cut out some things that it, become aware of what's making you happy and what's making you question what's going on in your life, okay? And so that's it. I love y'all. I hope that you enjoyed this video and until next time, make sure you stick around so that you go with the flow with me and you continue to breathe. Give yourself permission, give yourself the space, give yourself the time to breathe and just be more, a whole lot more selfish. Hey, real quick, if you want to go on this little self-love journey with me when I went out of town on our She Flies Everywhere getaway, check out this next video of our trip to Riviera Maya. Oh my gosh, that place was so serenity now and gave me so much life. Sometimes you just need to get away as well. Sometimes you just need to get away. So if you want to go on a quick little getaway with me, check out this next video.